Welcome to the Great Exodus series, God's plan of rescue for his children, let my people go, the path to Mount Zion. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And our topic today is Restore the Church of the Book of Acts. How can I say that we have to restore this church or better called the Assembly of the Book of Acts? Because we are going backwards into the future towards paradise. Everything what you see now, what will happen now in this world and in heaven, is the restoration of all things. And what will be restored? Paradise. Everything is about paradise. Because the end result of the end times is the restoration of paradise. We came from paradise and we returned to paradise. And now we are in the time period of the seals. And the seals represent the time period of the persecution of the Christians by Nero in the first timeline. But now in our end time timeline, the persecution will come from Antichrist, the new Pharaoh, the new Nero that is coming up. And as the church in the book of Acts had to grow during persecution, we also will have a revival during persecution, a great revival, but only in the home churches, but only in the true church, only in the places that are protected by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and that are blessed by the Holy Spirit in the same way as it was in the book of Acts. The Holy Spirit, the fiery flames came down onto the apostles. They went out to preach the gospel and home churches were established all over the place. A home church is very good in, in times of persecution. Because it's, you can make it anywhere, wherever you meet, and you can hide it. Hide it from persecution. You can't do that with a public big church, an institution with a building where everybody knows there are the Christians. This is not possible. Use as an example places where Christians are persecuted now. China. China has a lot of home churches. Iran has a lot of home churches. And in many Arab countries there are a lot of home churches. But they're hidden. They're somewhere. Nobody will exactly know where. And now we will create these home churches again. But we will do that in love, unity and support on a new level, on a level where we link all these home churches together, together to a great commonwealth of God, so that we can not only talk to all these churches, but we can also support and help whatever help is needed, because that is very important at this time. Now we are not talking about a small harvest, we are talking about a huge harvest that has to be brought in. Read Revelation 6, we are talking about the multitude closed and white that nobody could number, fulfillment of the promise to the, of the Abrahamic covenant. Now, how do we get all these people together? By establishing dwelling places of Zion in all the nations and all the continents. In these dwelling places, the disciples will be trained and taught and empowered by the Holy Spirit. And then the disciples will be sent out into the neighborhoods to lift up the needy, the meek, the nameless and faceless. And through this potential, these people in the road, as the Lord said, the last will be the first, and the poor will inherit the kingdom. These people will be the revival. These people will come to the light. These people will be drawn. These people will establish new dwelling places of Zion all over the world. Through example, we will gather the people together, not through force, but through example by showing forth the love of the Father in the same way as Jesus was an example. He showed forth the love of the Father even until death. And this will happen again. And this is the time period, the sealed tribulation, where Antichrist will persecute the Christians. He will not persecute the Jews. He will persecute the Christians. The Jews will be persecuted during the trumpet tribulations by Satan himself because the Jews are the chosen people of the Father and Satan wants to be like God, so he will persecute the Jews. But now it's the time of the persecution of 
the Christians. And most Christians are not prepared for that. They still believe in their old church age and their old institution and all this has already passed away. Now we are going into persecution and we will be prepared for it because we will come out of the world and out of Babylon to have no contact anymore with them so that they cannot find us, that, they, that the Lord can hide us in the dwelling places of Zion, in his places of light. Now we have to restore the church of the book of Acts. And it's most important that we do it in the next three, three and a half years, before Antichrist gets his whole power. He's already here, but his main power he will receive in three, three and a half years. Now we have only this short period to build the dwelling places of Zion. So start now, build your own, own church right now. Build it in your house, in your meeting place, in your neighborhood. Gather the people together with the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit. Train and teach them, empower them. The Holy Spirit will be sent by the Lord and then send them out in the neighborhood to bring more people in. If you have more than 50, create a new home church in another place and continue like this until we have millions of people in the revival. And then you have brought many, many, many souls to righteousness and you will shine as the stars in the firmament. People, we are the harvest worker, and we are the church, and we are supernatural, and we are powerful warriors. Our time has come now to step forward and be the light and shine for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So let us together restore the, the act church. Why do you think it's called acts? Because action was done. Now it's the time to step out of the old ways not to remain seated and waiting for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, but to do action, step forward, show forth an example, take your cross, follow Jesus. By showing this example, many people will be drawn to you in the same way as many people were drawn to Jesus Christ. And then these people will enter the dwelling places and these people will walk with us together the path to Mount Zion in the great exodus towards the holy mountain. And there all of us, who have cleaned their garments in the blood of the Lamb, will then stay, stand there with palm tree in their hands and will have a triumphal entry into paradise. Yes, I say that a triumphal entry into paradise because the cherubim who guards the entrance of paradise will step aside and will allow us to enter. And then we will be with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and our Father, God Almighty, forever and ever. So let us come together in love, unity and support and build the dwelling places of Zion, the home churches. Share resources, support one another, lift up the needy, the nameless and faces, read the book of Acts, read exactly what these people have done. They had one accord, the zeal for the Lord, the same what we have now, the zeal to bring in the harvest, the zeal for the heavenly kingdom. And we will speak boldly about it. And we gather the people together. And what else did they have? They had all in common. And they sold the, what they had in excess because they don't care anymore about the world or about their Pharisees, their religious system. So they sold everything what they have in excess and brought the money and laid it at the feet of the apostles so that it could be used for anybody who had need. And this is the same what we also have to do. So if you have access, sell it and bring it together so that we can use it to spread the message, to gather the people, to help the needy, because there are also dwelling places to be established in poor places like Africa and Asia, where we need a little bit of financial help to get the people up. But then once it is running, it will grow and grow and nobody can stop it. Remember that mountain, that stone that Daniel saw in the dream of Nebuchadnezzar, that mountain that will come down from heaven and it will destroy the statue. The statue represents the world in Babylon. It will destroy the statue and then it will grow, 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 grow. Like a snowball, once it rolls, it rolls, it rolls, it becomes bigger, 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 bigger and huge, like the mountain, the mount of Zion that will come down with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ at the 16. Now let us be this stone, the rock that the Lord has said, you are my rock, you are my church, we are his church. Now let us start and build the dwelling places of Zion.
let us restore the church of the book of Acts. If you have any questions, send them to me at triplegrace55 at gmail.com. I love you all so dearly and I hope this topic helped you and give you more understanding. And I hope I will see you again tomorrow. Have a blessed day in the Lord. Maranatha.